Some setups might require a custom aspect ratio in order to fill your entire viewable screen with an image. In this video, we're going to run you through the steps to get a custom aspect ratio set up on your computer so you can get the most out of your impact screen. The first step in the process is to position your projector, and you're going to want it positioned so that the entire height of the screen is filled when you have it set to your native aspect ratio. So for this example, it's a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, and we have uh, a 1080 by 1920 image. So that's 1080 pixels filling the entire height, and 1920 pixels for the width. And you can see on each side, the image is too wide, and it's spelling out over onto the edges. So we need to adjust that. So to determine our custom aspect ratio, we're going to need to know the height and width of the viewable area of our screen. All right, so the height comes out to about 100 inches tall. Should be like 130, about 135, call it 135 and a quarter wide. So the first steps to setting up a custom resolution on your computer is going to be finding your uh, graphics controller. In this case, we're using NVIDIA for our graphics cards. We'll open that up. Um, oops, open on the other screen. Let's get that over here. And then we are also going to need a calculator to be able to calculate our aspect ratio. All right, so the first step is to determine your aspect ratio. To do that, you divide the width of your screen, which in this case is one, th not one, one, one. What is going on keyboard? Divide 135 by 100, and that gets us 1.35. So this will give us our custom aspect ratio of 1.35. So to determine the amount of pixels we need for the width, we take 1080, which we know is the height of our screen, because we had that set through the native aspect ratio. We multiply by that by our custom aspect ratio, which is 1.35, and that's going to give us 1,458. So we'll take that number, we'll go over to our NVIDIA control panel here, make sure we have our projector selected, and then we are going to choose a resolution, but we want to do a custom resolution. So we'll click on customize, and then we will create a custom resolution. So our vertical pixels are already set at 1080, so we're good there. What we want to do is reduce our horizontal pix pixel count to 1,458. And then when we click test, we'll see on the screen that the height is going to stay the same, but that width is going to reduce down. And it should just about perfectly fill the screen. which you can see there, it does. Uh, so you tell it, yes, that test was successful. We want to save that resolution. And you'll re see it reverts back to the original resolution. So this is back to 16 to 9. All right, so the next step is to actually apply this new custom resolution to our screen. Uh, so you'll see up here you have the custom resolution that we just set. So we'll select that, hit Apply. It's going to ask us if we want to keep these changes, and yes, we do, because that's looking pretty good. Um, so there we go. We now have a custom aspect ratio set up on this screen. It's custom resolution. fits it almost perfectly. You'll see in the top kind of left side of the screen, there's a little sliver that's not filled up. That's just because this projector does not have the horizontal keystone correction. Uh, it's not perfectly centered on the screen, so we've got that little bit of blank space. So what we can do is go back in and customize the resolution again. And if we want to tweak it a little bit, we can always create a new custom resolution and maybe add a few pixels onto that. We can hit test. And you can see it's a lot better than it was. Uh, there's still a sliver of black up top, but I think we can live with that. Uh, so, yes, I want to save that resolution. And then we'll hit OK. And then we can go back over here and select that new custom resolution that we made that's a little bit wider than the original one. We'll hit Apply. 
and that's going to change our image over to the slightly wider resolution and help eliminate some of that black space. So let's take a look at a, another screen size here. Um, a pretty s common one that we see is a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. Um, so it's pretty easy to figure out. So we're gonna leave our screen height the same. Uh, so we know that's 100 inches. Um, and then we'll have a screen width that's also 100 inches. So to determine our custom aspect ratio, 100 divided by 100, it's one. So you get a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. So you want the screen height and width to both be the same. Uh, so it'll be 1080 by 1080. So we'll go into here, create our custom resolution. We will adjust that down to 1080 by 1080. And then you'll see on the screen, this is roughly a four to three screen. But once we set that as a selectable resolution, go back into our control panel, select that, hit apply. And we now have a one-to-one -one resolution on the screen. So this would work with something like our eight by eight DIY enclosure kits. So that is how you set up a custom aspect ratio. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments below and we will see you in the next one.